Hi everyone, greetings from all of us at the Council of Michigan Foundations. I've got some great news to share, both from Washington and Lansing. First, I just want to share with you that last month we got great news from the Department of Treasury in Washington. For the last several years, the Council of Michigan Foundations has partnered with the Council on Foundations to really request guidance from Treasury for our foundations, for private foundations, on mission-related investing. And the good news is that we got it. So we now have the official letter that boards of trustees can use in considering investments from their portfolios, from their endowments in Michigan that will provide still a good rate of return, but also serve a charitable purpose. A great accomplishment, and we're excited to get this letter of guidance from the Department of Treasury in Washington. In Lansing, I've also got great news to report. Um, uh, the Council of Michigan Foundations has been working with members on two really important initiatives. And today we were excited to learn that um, the Senate and the House have both now signed off on the teacher evaluation bill. And we quietly um, supported, with the help of two of our members, the work of the Council for Educator Effectiveness, led by Dean Deborah Ball from the University of Michigan, over the last two years on this, and it's great to see this legislation finally go through our state legislature, and now it's on to the governor for signing. And the other bill that's being worked on and is now through the House and at the Senate is the bill on third grade reading, which a number of our members have also been very involved with, with our support. So there's good news to report both from Washington and Lansing that impacts the great work that philanthropy is doing here in our Michigan.